Jamie Simonoffi, the chief inventor, founder, and CEO of The Ring. The Ring has been facing a lot of controversy over the last week after this video of a little girl in Texas being taunted by a voice coming from the Ring device went viral. You, you look down, it's hard to I, watch. Yeah. What is going on, Jamie? So, um, you know, I started the company to make people's neighborhoods safer. And, uh, you know, I, I see that, I'm just horrified. Um, How did it happen? I, I have an 11-year-old 11, 11 son. Um, the Ring system was not breached. Um, so our, our systems, our, all of our, um, you know, our cloud was not breached. Um, you know, what, what happened was um, this came from an outside, you know, someone's using the same username and password elsewhere uh, that had, uh, that was gained from that, and then they logged into that user's account through that. And so that's, you know, why I'm here as a, as a leader in the industry, as a father, um, you know, we, we need to uh, educate people on how to keep their online presences, not just ring, but how to keep this secure. And let me, uh, let me pause you. So Tennessee, Florida, Georgia, New York. What you're saying is someone's email account was breached. The hacker then takes your password that you've used somewhere else. Because you're using the same one across all of your stuff. And then they get in the ring app and they test out the password that they've acquired. You have a lot of supporters. I happen to be one of them. Can you assure us that this was not the ring? I'm a mom. Oh, I, of a I can seven assure you it wasn't. It was definitely not. So I can assure you it was not our systems. And that's, you know, we always looked at keeping our systems secure, and that was our job. And I now see as a leader in the industry that it's that my job is bigger than that. My job is to educate beyond that and to say, do not use, and I say this to everyone here, do not use the same username and password, you know, across all accounts. Keep it in different accounts. Um, I also say use two-factor authentication. Two-factor is when um, you log in and then you get like that text right. message or it comes somewhere else and then you use that number. It's a bit of a pain, right. but it will guarantee that you won't have these things happening. And you can do two-factor on Ring. Uh, you can do two-factor on your bank accounts, on all of these, and email. And if you do that everywhere, use different usernames and passwords, that will really keep you secure across all your online stuff because it is important. Are you worried this will hurt the company? Uh, you know, I, I, I'm worried it'll hurt people. Like I see that video. And I'm sorry, like that's that's it's not okay. Like I like that. that so I, the company is a you know I'm here for a mission to make. I, I I started this in my garage to make people's neighborhoods safer, to make people safer, and and that's what I'm here to do. And so like I I, I just want to be as a leader to help do that across because this is not just a, a ring thing. This is all across lots of different things. And I think if we can use this as a way to stand up and, and as a time now to help people get safer over across their online presence as well as their physical security yeah. of their homes and neighborhoods, Definitely. then that's a good thing. I just want to point out to people, a study showed that the ring in one Los Angeles neighborhood, a reduction of crime 55%.